So right now, I usually get DM on people asking me which other app is good for them to use and edit their videos because the CapCut have started adding all their features as a pro feature. Although not all their features, but all those features that make CapCut to stand out from the crowd, they are all pro features, meaning that you cannot be able to use those features if you didn't subscribe to the CapCut premium service. So because of that, I decided to do this video right now. I'm going to be listening to you guys another app that you can use instead of CapCut and I'll be walking you through on how to use this app to maximize your editing. Now the name of this app is the InShot and most of you are familiar with this InShot video editing app but a lot of people underestimate this particular app and today I'm going to be showing you guys crazy things like that you can do using this particular app InShot and people feel like this app is meant for beginners but trust me I can create professional looking videos using the InShot video editing app. So I'm going to be trying to share with you some certain things that you can and do with this app that people don't know exist on this particular app so let's proceed now then the first one is that of removing background and i think i have done a video on that but i'll still be doing a brief examination of that right, right. now all right this is the in short video it is an app so i'll click on videos and then i'm gonna be selecting the background that i'll be using in my videos so if you don't know where to get background i already done a video on how to do that so check out the video in the description of this video or in the comment section so that i can be able to watch that and understand the full process so right now i'm gonna be doing that of just changing background so i click on the background that i want to change so maybe this particular one and then i'll click on good all right so right now i, I already have the background okay so i'm gonna be clicking on this option pip so when i click on pip i'm going to be importing the video that i want to change the background all right so maybe let me use this this person's video this i'll click on this option in order to make it to fit the screen this particular option so when i click on it, it's already fit the screen so next thing for me to do is to make sure it's to go back and drag this main background to fit the pip the overlay all right so you'll be seeing this this blue dot showing you that there is a pip on this and when the pip has finished i'm talking about the overlay so once you are done with that click on the pip again and click on the the video that you want to remove the background then scroll over to this option cut out click on cut out and then click on cut out here it's going to cut out the video from the background all right so this is how it's going to look like it is, it's gonna load just look at this place when this place turns to 100% just know that it have completed the cutout and then you can be able to export your videos all right so you can see the cutout is completed all right so this is how it's gonna be looking like right now no. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. if I had this for you finish all right looking at it it looks a little bit unprofessional so this is what we'll be doing we'll be clicking on this and then we're gonna be dragging this down to the place that we are seeing only this person so in order to make it more realistic we're going to be changing the frame the aspect ratio all right to the normal aspect ratio that this video was shot on which is that of vertical form video so when i click on canvas i'm going to be seeing this 9.16 here or i can choose on this 9.16 of tiktok and then we have something like this then i'll drag this in order to fit the whole screen and then i can adjust this to where i want it to be showing most and then i'll click on go right now i already have a customized background for this particular person no. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. if i had this for you finish i tell you say so sir i want to use this song go i feel you sir say, no, no. all right so that is it about this so i can choose to reduce the brightness of this in order to separate it from the person talking i'll click on add jobs and then i'll click on brightness and then i'm gonna be reducing it maybe to the lowest and then maybe i can also choose to increase the saturation of this or maybe like this and then i'm cool with that and i can see the difference no. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. if i had this for you finish i tell you say. all right we are done with removing of background so let's go on to how to remove background when you shot a video on a green screen all right right now i don't have the green screen of this particular person that i use but i use my own green screen to illustrate that so let me delete this one already and then let me add a video that i shot on green screen so let me let me use this one though okay so in order for you for things that you are doing to look more realistic you need to use the same aspect ratio that you used to show the video that you want to cut out the background to to adjust it in order to fit the background all right so 
I'm going to be clicking on this background. Oh, there's no need for that. I just click head on to the canvas to change the aspect ratio. Then I'll bring it to the normal one, which is that of YouTube. And then maybe I can choose to reduce this, drag this in order to fit the screen. All right, so I'm good with this. So right now, the next thing is for me to click on PIP, click on this clip, and then I'll locate this option, cut out. When I click on cut out, I'm going to be selecting chroma instead of cut out. So when I click on chroma, I'm going to be dragging this to the color that I want it to be raised on. All right, so once it reaches the color, I'll now increase the strength of it. And you can see it, boom, it's have already reduced, removed the background. All right, so when I play this video right now, so right now i see people looking for application that i so whenever you are done with that remember to always remove the watermark so that it will your video won't look unprofessional so let me remove that and then i'll play the full video of it okay right now i've removed the watermark I'm... so let's watch it so right now i see people looking for application that and the next one is that of keyframe you know a lot of people don't know the use of keyframe they feel like that option there is just like it's just something that is used to you know make up a video editing app but this option is something that we use every day we professional we use this every day and people don't even know that we do that so i'm going to show you guys a little bit of how to use a keyframe to make your content very engaging one thing we're gonna be explaining right now which is the keyframe how to use it i'm gonna be trying some basic things using this keyframe and then i don't know if you guys want a more detailed tutorial on this i'll be glad to do that if i see multiple comments on that all right so one thing you need to know about keyframe is that keyframe is just like when you add something to this it makes it to be stagnant then any other keyframe you add above this first one is the way you want it to be when the this this stroke which is this place so take a look at i added this keyframe here and then when i reach maybe on this particular place i added another one so mind you any movement i make to this it will automatically add a keyframe once i added the first one all right so maybe even if i don't i remove this one right now and then i try to zoom in this particular clip it will automatically add a keyframe under this place so that is simply what keyframe is all about so right now i just apply it a little effort let's watch it so you understand what i did just now the capcom saga adding those special features that we love so much as a pro feature as a pro all right so you can see the work of keyframe so under this way i can still choose to bring it back again in a faster motion i can just pinch it back again okay so i usually use this most of my time to make my my video to look like i'm shooting like my camera is moving whereas whereas i'm shooting on a stagnant like i'm shooting my i'm shooting with a tripod that is stagnant all right so that the capcom said they adding those special features that we love so much as a pro feature as a premium service wait do you read the title of this video i'm sure you did all right that is basically how to use this this keyframe or maybe let me just add another let me just add a text to, to showcase another one right now before i move on to the next one maybe let me add mr p studio mr p studio and this is it right now so if i add a keyframe on top of on this place right now any other movement i'm going to be making it will automatically add a keyframe so maybe in this place right now i want this to come down to this place and i also want to reduce it for it to come to this place within this short period of time so look at it it's have automatically added a keyframe to it so let's watch it so you see how it's gonna appear so you do another alternative of the CapCut pro hope you see what just happened then i can also choose to drag it back i can just choose to click on another keyframe here and click on another one then i can choose to bring it down to this place all right so let's watch it and see how it's going you like. do another alternative of the cap Cuts pro yes with this application you can be able to edit okay so that's basically the use of keyframe how keyframe are being used in video editing. and after doing that you are not cleared about how to use keyframe 
I want you to drop it in the comment section right now. Tell me that you want me to create a dedicated video on how to use keyframe in your videos and i'll be glad to now another thing that people don't know exists on this app is the option of background blur automatic background blur i mean i haven't come across any video editing app that have this option i mean you can do that using other method but this one is an automatic method that is why i love it on InShot the most so let me show you what i meant and to add the background but i'll click on new video and then i'm gonna be importing the video i wanted to add a background blur to right now all right this is the video right now and boom i'm already on in shot in order to apply this effect i just click on effects and then i'll see ai ai effects i'm gonna be scrolling down to this blur option then i'll choose the kind of blur i want to apply to my video so i usually use this particular one most of the time so when i click on this it's, uh, it's automatically added a lot it's, it's then i can uh, increase the value or decrease another, the value it's, uh, i'm gonna be doing another okay then i can click on value and then increase or decrease it depending on how i want it to look like it's, uh, i'm gonna be doing another all right so i can also choose on to click on this option right now in order to compare how it was before and how it's looking when i apply the effect all right so that is exactly how to do that and wait before you continue watching i'm holding a video editing academy yes on my telegram channel and these are the things i'll be offering you whenever you join this academy number one there'll be a one-on-one -on -one session with me if you want this live i'll be doing that yes and also you get to learn video editing from scratch and you want to enhance your video editing skill this academy is just for you so if you want to join this at telegram channel check out the link in the description of this video or in the comment section to join you can email us using this email mr p video editing academy at gmail it's not free but it's very affordable i'll be offering a 50 percent discount to the first 50 people that will join this channel to get the best and be the best in whatever you are doing concerning video editing.